Hi guys, I'm Melissa. Welcome back to Cloud Mom. This is month 26 with your toddler and with my toddler, Bracey. At this age, most toddlers can say close to 100 words, utter two to four word phrases, articulate the names of family members, follow simple instructions, point to objects you mention, blabber with increasing clarity, and imitate the words you utter. If you notice that your child is not using two word phrases and doesn't seem to have any new words popping up, check with your doctor. If your child is suffering from speech delay or a hearing problem, early intervention is key. Here are some speech activities for a 26 month old toddler. Sing, dance, read, read, and read some more, and avoid the TV, iPad, and iPhones. Books are best. Nursery rhymes are a phenomenal way to stimulate your child's speech and language development. It isn't for nothing that these little songs have become so famous and passed down from generation to generation. Another thing that's great about them is that you can sing nursery rhymes basically no matter where you are and they don't require any materials and it's a really fun thing to do with your toddler at the table in the car when you just have some downtime here's a list of some really good classic nursery rhymes for your toddler head shoulders knees and toes the abc's old mcdonald had a farm frere jacques london bridge is falling down the wheels on the bus itsy bitsy spider ants go marching row 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 your boat and humpty dumpty physical development when it comes to a 26 month old toddler at this stage you should continue to see your toddler becoming more strong becoming more agile getting better at all the things they do every day at home and in the park here's a list of some good physical activities when it comes to a 26 month old toddler rolling on the floor yoga poses including downward dog and warrior two kicking a light soft ball hide and seek with apples and oranges sweeping singing London Bridges Falling Down and Falling in a Family Circle with the Ashes, and imitating animals like hop like a bunny, gallop like a horse, and slither like a snake. And you can say the animal sounds out loud. Intellectual activities for a 26 month old toddler. When you're doing what you're doing, whether it be brushing your teeth, washing the dishes, getting some laundry folded, have some blocks on the floor and just try to have your toddler keep playing and using his hands, which is great for fine motor development. Your 26 month old social and emotional development. What happens if you get in an argument or you get upset and cry in front of your child? Toddlers need to grow up in a normal and a real environment. And if by chance someone gets upset, that's a really good opportunity to talk to your toddler about feelings, to explain what it feels like to be sad, to explain how you have to work through that and try to figure out what's making you sad and try to get yourself to feel better. And also how if someone else is being sad or feeling sad, you have to work to make them feel better. So what these kind of emotions should be is a trigger to have a very healthy and meaningful discussion about emotions with your toddler. Don't try to act as if they don't exist. Don't try to act as if people are always in the same moods and never have their ups and downs. That's not a realistic portrayal of life. Instead, try to work on developing your toddler's emotional intelligence. What do I do if my toddler hits or bites? There are some activities that are a categorical no-no. People have their different views on this. In my household, if someone hits or bites or engages in intentional meanness, I try to mark the moment. Whatever's going on at that moment stops. And when it comes to Bracey, he's going in a timeout, whether it be on a chair, in a corner. He sometimes doesn't really seem to be aware of what's going on, but I try to take that opportunity to get down to his level, to explain to him what he's done and to stop whatever fun and games are going on and to tell him, no, we don't hit, we don't bite. And I think that's a good thing generally to do. If your child has become a chronic hitter or a biter, I would talk to my doctor about it because you really want to get on top of this type of aggressive behavior. Some amount of aggression is normal, but if it's very repeated hitting or biting, it's definitely something that you want to bring up with your doctor. 
and to develop a strategy for. If you do decide to discipline your child in the way I'm suggesting, such as with a timeout, try not to create so much drama and attention around that moment. Try to just discipline your toddler, stay calm, and not make it something that your toddler seeks out because they're getting a lot of attention and they want to be the center of attention. That's a really important component when it comes to disciplining a child this age. What should my 26 month old be eating? The same wide variety of foods, lean meats, fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, all different sorts of dairy, keep the sugar low, get rid of the white flour, the white rice, try to go for whole grains and try to just keep it as varied and as fresh as you can. What's my schedule with my 26 month old toddler? 7 a.m., wake up, breastfeed if you're still breastfeeding and have breakfast or milk. 10 a.m. snack, 12 p.m. lunch, then a nap, which is probably gonna be about an hour and a half to two hours long. 3 p.m., a snack when they wake up, keep it maybe protein rich or dairy rich. 6 p.m. dinner, 7 p.m. a final milk feeding and 8 p.m. bedtime. The average weight for a 26 month old toddler is 28.7 pounds for boys, which is 13 kilos, and 27.4 pounds, which is 12.4 kilos for girls. The average height for a 26 month old boy is 34.8 inches, which is 88 centimeters, and for a girl is 34.3 inches, which is 87 centimeters. The Bracy update. During his 26 month, Bracy began saying three word phrases like, no book mommy. He had a lot of fun playing with his siblings at home, a lot more ball play, a lot of building towers up, and the most fun about that was of course, knocking the towers down. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and see you back soon for more how-to videos.